All right, guys, this is it. We finally made it to the point of no return. And being that I completely fumbled the ball when it came to the Technodrome boss battle, the situation looks grim. So, from the looks of it, all of the turtles' health is completely wasted except for Mikey. And being that Area 6 is literally the hardest level of the game, we need to get Michelangelo through this level and by all means, it's time to unleash the Kai Scrolls. So the plan of action is to get through the level with Mikey and to defeat the Shredder with Ralph. Hey guys, one more thing before we get going. If you see these guys flying around, do not take them lightly. They have laser guns that can absolutely melt your HP. Now, it's possible to evade by crouching under them as they fly overhead since they have a blind spot there for some reason. Anyways, it's best to take advantage of that and make your escape. From the start, go to the right. We can take out the jet flying guy with two car shots, but keep in mind we have to be wise with our ammo. Now, there are two more jet guys here. Take them out and head down the next ladder. In this area, we need to head for the pizza first, then decide which route we're going to take. See, if you go down the lower path, it would take you to where a captured turtle is located. But this path has an abundance of spikes. So being that we have all of our turtles, there's no need to take that route. Instead, we will take the upper path, which is at the second ladder. Both paths lead to the same destination. Now, let's give this pizza to Raph. So yeah, we still need Mikey to complete the level. It's more so like Raphael's a backup guy if things really turn sour. Also, make sure you don't accidentally collect and overwrite your Kai Scroll with another weapon. All right, so let's head up this ladder and proceed to the upper path. Now let's head to the right. Blast the alien kangaroo a few times with a car shot. These guys do great damage, but they're still not as bad as the jetpack dudes. There's only a few flying enemies left at this point. Make sure to avoid the kangaroo if possible as you make your way to the door at the far left. Quickly take out the boomerang guy, then head left. At the end of this path, we're going to acquire another Kai Scroll. The Kai Scrolls are a significant sub weapon and without them, I don't think I could manage this level with Mikey. Make sure to take out the wall cannon first, then make the jump. And do the same here. So now we're going back to the right and dropping the first gap to go down. At this point, we're going to take out another alien kangaroo, then continue to the right and drop down again into the next gap. Take out the twin kangaroos with the double shot and head left. Make sure to avoid the wall cannon shots as you jump. We can't afford to fall now. Now let's head down the ladder and grab a full pizza with Mikey. So now, let's head back up. From here, head to the left and drop in the next gap in the floor. Now we have to head to the right. This is the time to start evading the jetpack guys by crouching as they fly by. We must save our energy for what's about to come next. Now let's collect the invisible item and continue down. Keep going to the left and at the end of the hallway it's the absolute most diabolical part of the game. This. It's a corridor of death. If going to the right was a death sentence, 
this would be it. In this hallway, we have to survive a plethora of jet flying guys who are all itching to see turtle blood. Make sure to crouch and use their blind spots for your survival. As you can see, the hallway is getting smaller as you continue. Try not to stay still for too long and keep moving. So in this narrow section, it is important that no other jet flying man is behind you. Because if this is the case, then you're pretty much toast. At this point, you want to walk then crouch underneath the jet man's shot. The jet man would then fly backwards off screen. Keep this entire routine going until you reach the end of the hall. Phew. Now that's over with, let's climb this ladder. It's almost time to face the shredder. Here's the last sub boss of the game. Take him out and with him defeated, it's time to take on his master. Select Raphael and enter the door at the left. To be honest, this boss fight is a little lackluster and the shredder is somewhat of a goofball. Keep your position and when the shredder form completes, blast him away with Kai shots. The shredder will continue to try to reach you only to get blast away. Continue this until he's no more. Now here's a second way to beat him. Select Donatello and position him on the right edge of the higher platform. When the shredder forms in, hit him to knock him off of the platform. Now whenever he tries to reach you, just knock him away again until he's defeated. And that's it. Now the Shredder is definitely lackluster, but he does have a one-shot move with his anti-mutagen gun, so be mindful of that. With Shredder's defeat and a Technodrome laid to waste, it's time for our teenage heroes to celebrate, relax, and eat some pizza. With that being said, I'm Dad Mishima, see you next game.